if you understand this one thing, this one thing I'm about to share with you, it will change the way you approach job interviews. I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, as someone who has been in the human resource practice space for over 15 years, if you pay attention to this one thing, one thing, it will change the way. Now, before I go on, do not forget to like this video if it makes sense to you and share it if you think it's going to help other people. And please subscribe to this channel as we're trying as much as possible to empower people to make them better leaders through public speaking and effective communication. Now, that having been said, let's go on. When you attend a job interview, more often than not, people think of the following things. Number one, the job. So they go online, they see the job description, they study the job description, and then they look at the qualification, the specifications and all of that. And the next thing they also do is that they go online, they check the company out. For those who are diligent enough, they go online, they check the company out, they do some research on the company, and sometimes they note those things down. That's what most people are focused on. And these things are not bad. Well, the second thing they are focused on is themselves. How am I looking? Am I properly dressed? What am I saying? And all of that, that's the focus. That in itself is also not bad. But there's a third part that's the third part of the interview that many times we forget. I've been there several times. I've sat on both sides of the table, being someone looking for a job to becoming an HR manager, headed three HR departments in different companies, interviewed loads of people, gone back to doing my own business, back to looking for a job, bidding for businesses. So I've been on both sides of people having conversations and I would tell you it's never easy. Whichever side you are, there's pressure. Now this is what I, I believe many times people who look for jobs or job seekers do not pay attention to. They do not pay attention to the people that are interviewing them. You see, we claim as humans that we are logical they say, this doesn't make sense. It's not no logic. But truly and truly, research has shown that humans are more emotional than they are logical. So many times in life, what we do is that we think we're logical, but we make decisions with our heart and we justify the decision with logic. So that's why there's usually a conflict between the mind and the heart. So when you are sitting as an interviewee, we tend to think more logically. What point am I going to see? What point have I prepared that I want to see? What are they looking for? What points will I, what would I say that will make me look statistically or data-wise, make me look the best candidate for a job? And in the process, we end up seeing the interviewers as robots or <laughs> creatures of AI, artificial intelligence, instead of humans. And so we begin to try to think, we begin to try to speak to their mind instead of speaking to their heart. Now, I'm not saying be a mediocre, I'm not saying be a sycophant, something. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that the third and probably the most important factor in this equation is the person interviewing you. There are cases when interviewers or recruiters, they tend to say in their head, mm, I like this guy. Mm, I like this, I like this lady, I like this man. I like this candidate. I just hope that he's going to push through. I just hope he's able to answer the right questions the right way. Because already there's a connection between you and them, even before you begin to go logically. So what am I recommending that you do? I'm recommending that while you, it's okay to study the job description, study the business, prepare yourself. Also, 
prepare to hit the heart, not just the mind. Because most times we prepare to hit the mind and not the heart. Humans are emotional beings. We make decisions with our heart and we justify the decisions we've made with our mind. That's when we begin to put the numbers together. So the next time you attend an interview, focus on reaching the heart. But how would you, sorry, my phone just went off. But how would you focus on reaching the heart? I'm going to share a few tips with you. That brings me back to what I love to talk about, and that is public speaking. And so if this video has made sense to you thus far, please like the video. Give us a thumbs up. If you think it's going to help someone else, share the video. And please, if you want to get more content like this, subscribe. Hit the subscription button. Subscribe so that whenever we put in videos like this, we put out videos like this every other day or every week, you will be the first to know. So what do you need to do to reach the heart? Number one, you need to be confident. Confidence is absolutely important when you talk about yourself because you're selling. There's one of the videos we've made. You've checked if you check through in our in our in this channel on this channel, you would see what we talk about how public speaking benefits salespeople. So in this case, you're selling yourself. You're saying. Of all the candidates you have, I'm the best person. So how would you do that? Confidence. Remember, you are speaking to reach the heart. You're not. The mind is important. The logic is important. The data, analytics, and all that important. But this is where the fire comes from. So as you're looking at them, I don't know if there are two, three persons that will be interviewing you. Think about reaching their hearts. To talk with a passion to hit their heart. So confidence is important. And if you're confident, it will show in the way you express yourself. And it is key when it comes to job interviews. It demonstrates to the interviewer that you're speaking from the heart. That look, I've, I love to work here. I love to contribute. I've got value to give. I've come to think that a more confident person would more often than not have his way, find a way through even more than an intelligent person that's not very confident in expressing himself. So the power to express yourself confidently is important. So hone your skill. Then the next thing is communication. Being able to communicate effectively and powerfully helps you to pass the message across to hit the heart. And that's where public speaking is honing your skills. Improving your skills as a public speaker will help you to get a job because you're able to express yourself. Strong communication skills enable you to articulate your, to articulate your views across effectively with clarity. And sometimes you see them nodding. Of course, I know that there are, so, there are some interviewers that won't show any feeling because they don't want to give anything away. But remember... Don't aim for the mind, aim for the heart. The heart is a seat of motivation. That's what you need to aim at. And the next thing you need to, the next skill you need to also think about honing is a skill of presentation. Depending on the role you're going into, if it's a high level role or it's a technical role, you might be required to make some presentations. And that's where your public speaking skills also will need to come in. Because your public speaking skills will help you to pass your message across. Whether you're using slides, you're just using, you're just talking straight, whether it is live presentation or if it is virtual presentation, understanding, have, honing your public, having strong public speaking skills will help you or put you in the right position and a better position to pass the interview. Another skill you must develop and strengthen as a skill of listening. Now, if you're a good public speaker, you know the power of pausing. You know the power of waiting. And if you're confident enough, you want to listen. And you're listening, you're listening actively. You are, you're, you are engaging your eyes. Eye contact is key. These are the things you learn as you grow as a public speaker. And that's why I'm encouraging you somewhere around this video or depending on where you're watching it or maybe in the description, you will find a link where you can actually connect a, a, a program advisor working with us to say, hey, I want to improve my public speaking skills. 
and we'll be able to help you. Furthermore, I encourage you to please give, the, give us a thumbs up to encourage us and also to share this video if you think someone that is searching for a job might just need these reminders to get them to think because you can't pass all the message in one video, but sometimes a video can just inspire you to go doing so, to go do some digging, some, some, some search to help prepare you for your next interview. The interview could be a promotional interview, it could be a job interview, but whatever interview you're going into, public speaking skills will give you an edge. That's all I'm trying to say. And finally, when you have good public speaking skills, it helps you to calm your nerves. You are able to manage nervousness. All of us get, get all of us, everybody gets nervous. Even when you just want to do a video like I'm doing, sometimes you get nervous. Will I be able to pass my thoughts appropriately within a short period of time? What would it look like? Some people don't like to see themselves on video and all of that. I do lots of speaking on different platforms in different parts of the world. I do get nervous, but everyone has got to develop a mechanism with which they can manage their nervousness. And that will help you when you sit in front of interviewers and you want to sell yourself. I hope this helps you to prepare for your next interview. It could be your entry level interview, a managerial interview, a promotional interview. You need public speaking skills. And if you need help coaching the mentorship, please reach out to us and we'll be able to help you. Finally, please, we want to get as many presents as possible drawn into this channel to see how they can improve themselves from the things that we share from our heart. No gimmicks, no hiding of anything to make sure that they are able to help themselves become better versions of themselves and go on succeeding. And please subscribe to this channel. We want to grow this channel as fast as possible and we need your help to do this. Thank you very much. And until I come your way again, my name is Tolono Baremi Samuel and my sincere desire for you is that you go on succeeding by becoming a better version of yourself. Bye for now.